Hi guys, this is Sag400 here with my Let's Play and Walkthrough for Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, and eventually, Heaven's Word. This is going to be both a Let's Play for comedic purposes, as well as a walkthrough slash guide. Main quests, side quests, dungeons, bosses, I intend to do guides on all of those over time. I know I'm very, very late to this party, but I wish to contribute what I can to this game which has done a surprising amount for me. I hope that in the end, at the very least, I'll have created a guide through the main game that people can watch, learn from, and laugh at, while on their own journeys through this game. Let's begin. A vibrant planet blessed by the light of the crystal. Amid azure seas, encompassing the westernmost of the three great continents, there lies a realm embraced by gods and forged by heroes. Her name, Aorzea. The annals of Eorzean history chart the rise of a succession of great civilizations, each one enjoying an age of peace, the Astral Eras. To date, all have proven ephemeral. In the year 1572 of the sixth and most recent astral era, the Northern Empire of Gallimore amassed a great army at the heart of Eorzea, seeking dominion over all. Rising in desperate resistance, the forces of the Eorzean Alliance met their would-be conquerors in the field. Yet, even as the battle raged, the lesser moon, Dalamut was plucked from the heavens through imperial machination. From its core emerged the elder primal Bahamut, who unleashed his fury upon the realm. The devastation brought Eorzea to its knees and the era to its end. Five years have come and gone. The light of life still shines upon Eorzea. Man labors tirelessly to raise himself from the calamity's ruin. The realm is forever changed, a stranger to him once more. Yet heedless of what lies ahead, he shall press on. Spurred by the promise of peace and prosperity. Amid this period of great change, an adventurer arrives in Eorzea, one whose tale is yet unwritten. May he ever walk in the light of the crystal. Yeah. 
Hear. Feel. Ouais. You all right, lad? You're moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides. That'll be the aether, I reckon. Some are more prone to the sickness than others. No need to fret, though. You'll soon get used to it. Thanks. Uh... Sure, you should be drinking it like that. What? Oh, they're adorable. Feeling better, Koopo? Aha! You can see us. I had a feeling you could, Koopo. We're Moogles, and we live in this wood. Normal folks can't see us or hear us, which makes you special, Koopo. Uh, yeah. They seem very, very teenager. Seeing as how you're special, maybe you can tell us something. The wood's been restless la of late. Lots of strange things happening. Have you chance to witness anything suspicious, Koopo? I literally just got here and had a crack dream, you tell me. Dear God, he can drink. But of course you haven't. He only just arrived. Well, there's nothing for it then. We'll just have to keep looking. Nice to meet you, Koopo. Uh, well, later then. Bye. Gridania's is still a fair way off, in case you were wondering. Seeing as you're awake, how's about you keep me company till we get there? Hey man, I'm from. Them youngins don't much care for conversation, see? Burnout's the name, and Pedalin's my trade. You're supposed to say, and Pedalin's my game, my good man. As for your good self, judging by your unusual garments, I'd say you were one of them new adventurers. Am I warm? Yeah. I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventuring's a risky business, these days especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? 
Um, to win glory. Glory, eh? Well, if you're willing to take on them tasks as other folk ain't, an adventurer such as yourself can win fame what coin can't buy. When you arrive in town, you'll want to report to the Adventurer's Guild. You can find out everything you need to know about the adventuring business in there. Just remember, though, there's more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. Uh-oh. What's going on? Halt! Go no further! What's this, then? Eep! Whoa! Oh, God. What's going on? The skirmish is broken up... Out, broken out ahead with the Ixel. For your own safety, you must remain here until... I don't think the Ixel gives shit. Bloody hells! We shall hold them here. Try to break clear. Oh, okay. No more than a day's being here and there's already been murder. That was too bleeding close, you're telling me. Nice of the Ixel to send us a welcoming party, though, eh? Joking aside, this won't be the last time you see those feathered beans. So, just do take care, alright? They didn't have that many feathers. By the by, is this your first trip to Gridania? Yes. Is it? Well then, let this dirty itinerant tell you the ins and outs of your destination. The city of Gridania lies slap bang in the middle of the Black Shroud, the biggest, lushest forest in all of Eorzea. Though it ain't near as lush as it used to be, saying that, not since the Clemity laid half of it to waste. The destruction prompted a herd of new nasties to move in and gave the Ixel unneeded encouragement. Birdman raids have become a daily occurrence. Ah, at long last. Behold Gridania, the forest nation blessed by the elementals. The Black Shroud, the ancient forest, close to the heart of Eorzea. Beneath the boughs of its towering trees lies the woodland city-state of Gridania. Once a sanctuary from the world beyond the hedge, even the mighty elementals, eternal guardians of the forest, could not forestall the coming of the Seventh Umbral Era. However, the goddess Nothica was never one to forsake her children, and today she welcomes another brave soul. One who may yet play a telling role in the tale of this great realm. And here's where we part ways, son. I'm off to the markets to deliver my wares. Then it's back to the high road for me. Here. I want you to have this, by way of thanks for keeping me company. Hey, you never did tell me your name, did ya? Well, here's an idea. My name is Zezeaku. Remember it. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met. And I'll consider a square. 
I just told you my name. May the matron take him to her bosom that he may never want. And in his heart, so serenity, purity, and sanctity. You there! Yes, you! Your face is not known to me. Newly come to the city, no doubt. I am. I am Bertinant, a wood whaler of Grindania. It is my duty to protect our nation from her enemies while welcoming those who may yet prove her friends. Let's uh, see which you are. Is this the part where the game tries to teach me how to play? Yep. Welcome to Gridania, a vibrant forest nation cradled in the bosom of nature. Please select the control scheme you wish to use. Follow the instructions to move your character and adjust the position of your camera. When you are ready to proceed, speak to Bertinet. Except I already know how, so... That's nice. We don't need to read that. Once you have initiated a quest, a prompt will appear detailing its objectives and rewards. Press the accept button in the lower left to add the quest to your current list of duties. Yep. We're going to be doing a lot of quests. I don't know why this is particularly a side quest when we're required to do it, but beggars can't be choosers. Another green adventurer, I presume. I thought as much. We cannot allow strangers to wander Gritania unchecked and untested. Before you rush off and begin pestering every second citizen for work, I suggest you make yourself known at the Carline Canopy. That's the headquarters of the local Adventurers Guild, in case you were wondering. The Caroline Canopy is the building you see behind me. Speak to Mother Mion within, and she will take you in hand. <clears throat> You have begun a quest! Use the duty list to help you complete your task. Upon accepting a quest, the current objectives will appear under the quest title in the duty list on the right side of the screen. A maximum number of five quests can be displayed at once. I can speak words. Selecting the title will open the quest in your journal, allowing you to review objectives and rewards. So it's your basic system for checking quests and everything. What do you have to say, guy? Ah. Give a man a bloody fright, sneaking up on him like that. Oh, you were surprised when I walked up to you. I get it, I'm short, but my hair is blue. It should kind of stick out. Hmm? Newly come to Gridania, are ye? Then I suggest you continue on your merry way to the Caroline Canopy just behind me. Mother Mion will want a word with you. Jeez, everyone says I should go talk to this lady. But that makes sense. Um... So one thing that should be noted is that your starting area is decided by class. I'm an archer, so I am starting here, in Gridania. But uh, other classes might start elsewhere. I'll get more into that in a minute. Complete a quest by speaking to the NPC with a check mark displayed above his or her head. By completing quests, you will earn a variety of rewards from items and guild to experience points. Experience points are going to end up being your bread and butter for any quest ever. Ah, 
Hi, I'm short. Well, well, what have we here? A wide-eyed and wandering young adventurer come to put your name down at the guild, I presume? Oh, whoops. Sorry, I misread your line. Welcome! Mion's my name, or Mother Mion, as most call me, and the Caroline Canopy is my place. I think it's actually Carline, but... Yeah. As the head of the Adventurers Guild in Gridania, I have the honor of providing guidance to the fledgling heroes who pass through our gates. No matter your ambitions, the guild is here to help you attain them. I am so short you barely saw me in that cutscene. In return, we expect you to fulfill your duties as an adventurer by assisting the people of Gridania. A fine deal, wouldn't you agree? To an outsider's eyes, all may seem well with our nation, but not could be further from the truth. People live in a state of constant apprehension. The Ixel and various gangs of common bandits provide an unending supply of trouble. Trouble compounded by the ever-present threat of the Garlean Empire to the north, and that is to say nothing of the Calamity. Even now, the wounds have barely begun to heal. Ah, but I speak of it as if you were there. Forgive me. Five years passed. Eorzea was well-nigh laid to waste when a dreadworm emerged from within the Lesser Moon, Dalamood, and raided fire upon the realm. It is this which people call the Calamity. Scarcely a square malm of the Twelve's Wood was spared the devastation, yet despite the forest's extensive wounds, not a soul among us can recall precisely how it happened. I am well aware of how improbable that must sound to an outsider. It is improbable. But it's also true. For reasons we can ill explain, the facts surrounding the Calamity are shrouded in mystery. There are as many versions of events as there are people willing to recount them. Yet amidst the hazy recollections and conflicting accounts, all agree on one thing. The Aorzia was saved from certain doom by a band of valiant adventurers. Like me. Whatever else we've misremembered, none of us have forgotten the heroes who risked life and limb for the sake of the realm. And yet, whenever we try to say their names, the words die upon our lips. Well, first off, I doubt you have the AI to read them. And second off... And whenever we try to call their faces to mind, we see naught but silhouettes amidst a blinding glare. I believe those were the explosions. Thus have these adventurers come to be known as the Warriors of Light. Yes, because they exploded. Ahem. Pray do not feel daunted by the deeds of legend. We do not seek that you become another Warrior of Light, only that you do what you can to assist the people of Gridania. Well, if anyone knows Final Fantasy, I'll be a Warrior of Light by the end of it. Great or small, every contribution counts. I trust you will play your part. Um, as much as I can. All that's left, then, is to conclude the business of registration. Here's a quill. Scroll your name right there. Dot your I's, cross your T's, sign here, here, and here. Oh, and I would appreciate it if you used your real name. There's a special place in the seventh hell for those who use amusing aliases. Jeez. <laughs> The Zeyaku Rebeyaku, hmm? And you're quite sure that isn't an amusing alias? It's an alteration of amusing alias, thank you. Very well, from this moment forward, you are registered as a adventurer of Gridania, nation blessed with the elementals and the bounty of the Twelveswood. The guild expects great things from you. Cool. Look at what just arrived. Another god's damned adventurer. Don't you start with that. Adventurers are the very solve that Gridania needs. The Elder Seedseer herself bade us welcome them with open arms. Do you mean to disregard her will? Of course not. Lest you forget, it's my sworn duty to uphold the peace. Am I to blame if outsiders bring mistrust upon themselves? You, adventurer. Mind that you do not cause any trouble here, or I shall personally cast you out of this realm and into the seventh hell. Jeez! Can we be friends later? Ahem. Pay that outburst no mind. He meant only to counsel you. Suspicious characters have been prowling the Twelve's Wood of late, and you see... 
and the Wood Whalers feel they cannot afford to take any chances. I speak English. As is often the way with folks who live in isolation, Gridanians are wont to mistrust things they do not well understand. No. That's going into post commentary. On behalf of my fellow citizens, I welcome you to Gridania. May you come to consider our nation as your own in time. Well, it's very, very pretty. Especially with your stained glass everywhere. Now then, you may depend on old Mother Mion to teach you a few things that every adventurer should know. If you couldn't tell, this is that front-loaded video that's going to spend a lot of time sending us in circles. I hope you're ready for jump cuts! Just kidding. I'm not going to be jump cutting this early. Because, you know, everything has to be shown. This concludes the introductory game tutorial. <laughs> no. You have taken the first step as an adventure in the city of Gridania. That's the only true part. Listen well to the wisdom of Mother Mion, then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you. Main scenario quests! Important quests used to tell the story of Eorzea and her people are called main scenario quests. These tasks are easily distinguishable from others by their unique icon. It's on fire. Um, I'm actually going to disable all of these. I don't see them as necessary. And if um they come up, I will bring them up myself rather than let the game do it for me. Otherwise, I'm going to do nothing but speak boxes of text. And I'm already out of breath. Close to home, Mother Mion, proprietress of the bleh, Caroline Carline Canopy, wants you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventuring. See, the tutorial wasn't over. They were lying to us. Let us begin at the beginning, shall we? Now that you are a formal member of the Adventurer's Guild, we must be sure you have a firm grasp for the fundamentals of adventuring. To that end, I have three tasks I wish you to perform. Your first task is to visit the Aetherite. The massive crystal stands in the middle of the Aetherite Plaza, not far from the Carline Canopy. Carol Car... I'll figure it out. As a device that enables instantaneous transportation, the Aetherite plays a key role in the life of the ever-wandering adventurer. Once you have located the crystal, all you need to do is touch its surface. A member of the Wood Whalers will be present to offer further instruction. I don't need it. For your second task, you are to visit the Archer's Guild. There's no better place to learn the art of the bow. Speak with Athelna, and she will explain the benefits of joining the guild. For your third and final task, I would have you visit the markets at the heart of Old Gridania's commercial district. There you shall find weapons and armor and all the various items an adventurer might need on his travels. There is, however, more to the markets than buying and selling goods. Speak with Parson Montre and listen well to his counsel. Master Merchant can be uncooperative at times, so be sure to offer him one of my famous, famous eel pies. Like so many men, he is much more charitable when his stomach is full. Here, I made a batch not long ago. Eel pie doesn't sound that pleasant. Have your you have your tasks, Zezeaku. May Nafika guide your path. I'm starting to realize that I've chosen a very awkward name. Ah, and one more thing. Should you happen to come across any citizens in need, don't be afraid to offer a helping hand. I'm certain they will be pleased to meet an adventurer in whom they can confide their woes. Granted, the work they offer is unlikely to be of realm shattering importance. But prove your worth and build a reputation, and in time, folks will be more inclined to trust you with matters of moment. Alright, so it's time to get started. And boy, do they give you a lot to start with. The very first thing we're going to do is, as she suggested, go activate the Aetherite Plaza. On the way there... These videos are going to be segmented based on what's in them. For main episodes, which are going to be called main quest episodes, we're going to do nothing but main quests. Uh, 
maybe I should have saved that for after attuning to the Aetherite. Oops. Greetings, adventure. I see you are faithfully following Mother Mion's instructions. What? Allow me to offer you a bit of instruction myself. I'm Nicia of the Wood Whalers, and I know a thing or two about the Aetherite. Yes, that big crystal right there. Aetherites are devices that tap into ethereal energies, and are primarily used as a means to travel swiftly from one place to another. Return and teleport. The most common teleportation spells make direct use of... And... Uh, blah, blah, blah. And as these devices are found in almost every corner of Aeorzea, any adventurer worthy of the name will wish to seek out and attune himself to each one. This is true. Truly, few things in this world are so useful to an intrepid explorer, yet the plot somehow forgets these things. But you need not locate them all at once. Before rushing out into the wilds, I suggest you start with the Aetherites found here in Gridania. Should you wish to learn more about the Aetherite or transportation magic, I'm here to answer your questions. You attune with the Aetherite. You are now able to use the return spell. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Small cut there. Little things happened. So, main episodes are going to focus on main quests. We're going to do nothing but main quest things. I just noticed it's snowing and there are snowmen everywhere. I should tell you when I recorded this. Big time. Um, main quests will take over the majority of episodes. However, in a secondary playlist... I'm going to have side quests along with the main quests as side episodes. These can be skipped if you don't want to learn about side quests or have guides to do them. But it's simply a means to offer a guide to side quests that is normally not available. Whenever I hit what I will refer to from now on as a level wall. In other words, uh, when the plot says you need to be this level to continue... I will stop the episode and start a side quest episode, where I will do all the side quests in a given area for the current level, and all quests before it. If I level up in those videos and reach the, pay the level wall, I won't stop. I will continue to do all the quests in the area for the level I'm at and below to create a proper guide and such. And the video which is the main quests will pick off right pick up right off of where the side episode begins so easy way to skip side content if you don't care for it or to find side content that is well more to your liking but enough of that let's get back to our quest close to home hello Greetings, friend. You have found your way to the Archer's Guild. Do you seek to uncover the secrets of our art? Just a moment. Greetings, friend. You have found your way to the Archer's Guild. Do you seek to uncover the secrets of our art? Ah, oh, now that I think on it. You have the look of one who has received Mother Mion's gentle instruction. Very well, I shall give you a brief introduction to archery in the Archer's Guild. The skills practiced by our archers allow them to gauge an enemy's weakness from afar and turn the tide of battle. When a single, well-placed arrow. Should you join us, you will be taught to do the same. Archery, as practiced in Redania, was born of two distinct styles of bowmanship. The first was devised by the long bow centuries of the Elizin, who once ruled the lowlands, while the second belonged to the short bow hunters of the formerly nomadic Nequote. As you will doubtless be aware, both races ultimately came to call the Twelve's Wood home. Though the two peoples began as rivals, they gradually learned to live together in harmony. During this time, they learned from one another, with their two schools of archery intermingling to give birth to the art that is known today. For a time, the bow was used primarily for hunting, but as the hunters vied with one another to prove who was the better shot, there emerged a group of archers whose ultimate goal lay not in the practical pursuit of prey, but in perfection. 
Thus was the Archer's Guild born from the ranks of the Trapper's League. It is the way of the Guild to promote greatness in archery through friendly competition, and the results of our methods can be seen in the vaunted archers of the God's Quiver, many of whom spent their formative years losing arrows at the Guild's practice butts. I hope this gives you a better idea of who we are and what we do here. Oh, did I see the spark of ambition flare within your eyes? If you wish to draw a string with the finest archers in Eorzea, look no further than the Archer's Guild. Before you enlist, however, you must gain the approval of the Guildmaster. Once you are ready to proceed, speak with me again and we can begin seeing about your enrollment. The fastest way to the market is actually right here, just past the Aetherite Plaza. You'll see it over here, it's to the east on the way to the Archer's Guild. If I recall right, this actually enters into the old Gridania zone. Yep, right into the marketplace. Welcome to Rosewood Stalls. We are looking for a uh, parsimontre. Oh, there he is. By what right does a fledgling adventurer presume to address parsimontre, master of the markets? He is suddenly for French. You think you can stroll in here bold as you please and demand my hard-earned knowledge? Ha! A merchant does not but not, especially when dealing with would-be heroes. If, on the other hand, you had some tasty morsel to curry my favor, then I might reconsider your request. Come now, this whole encounter reeks of Mion's handiwork, and more specifically, her baking. Don't look so surprised, son. I smelled that eel pie of yours a mom away. Hand it over. A mom isn't actually that big, dude. Mmm, <laughs> that flaky crust. Just divine. Very well, I'm a man of my word. Pay close attention, for I shall explain only this once. The aspiring adventurer need look no further than the Rosewood and Emily stalls. Both are but a short stroll from where we stand. If he means to do battle, he would be best prepared with a quality set of weapons and armor. Such goods are the province of the Rosewood stalls, directly south of here. You will be pleased to learn that the merchants of Gridania are exceedingly particular when it comes to craftsmanship, so you needn't fear defective straps and the like. If it is potions and paraphernalia you need, head north to the ebony stalls. The shelves there are lavishly stocked by widely traveled old on merchants, and I may truly say that I have seen things amongst a myriad wares that I scarce knew existed. They also have a whole bunch of presents, and ribbons, and Christmas. Do you follow me thus far? The first step in any purchase is to select the stalls that meet your needs. Then you may concern yourself with price and profit. There's a little more I could teach you with mere words. Go, peruse the stalls, and see for yourself what wares they offer. There's no substitute for, for first-hand experience, after all. And I am wearied of talking. Unless you have another eel pie? I do not. You you enjoy your eel pie, sir. With that done, we're going to immediately report back to Mio. Normally I would peruse, but I have no money. Hey Mion! I'm back. I did those things you wanted. The Conquering Hero returns. You have completed my little tasks, I trust. The three locations you visited will feature prominently in your life. As an adventurer, it is best to grow familiar with them as soon as possible. <laughs> I'm thankful that you are the obliging sort. It is adventurers like you who will win the hearts of the locals and pave the way for those who follow. Yep, this entire sequence is post-commentary. And thus, we hit our first quest wall. Well, level wall. You know what I mean. 
So, for now, I think an hour long batch of footage is more than good enough to say we're done here. So, next time, we will take to the panic and continue the main plot. But until then, guys, take care.